here are the starters for Brooklyn. What's up, everybody? Super Crazy I'm here bringing the NBA 2K15 my team video. Guys, what is up? What is going on, man? I want to address a few things really quick, man. Now, we just got news that Kareem Abdul Jabbar will be in NBA 2K16, which is another new legend that we've been asking for. Hopefully, we could get Charles Barkley and Reggie Miller and Allen Houston and Brandon Roy, you know, players like that, but, I mean, who knows. Um, they did also release and say that they were going to be, um, I'm sorry, the last classic team was the Timberwolves uh, 03 04, I believe it was, and another Cavaliers team, if I'm not mistaken, 05 06, I think it was. But um, those were the last two um, old school teams that they added into the game. Uh, which is really cool, man, because it gives us more variety, especially, you know, when you play friends and, and stuff like that, uh, you know, to pick other teams than just the regular old, you know, old either the old school teams or the teams of, you know, current right now. Um, you know, we have some EuroLeague teams, too. I don't even think anybody even plays with them, to be honest. I mean, I don't ever recall myself really playing with them. I think I've played with them maybe twice, two times tops. But, uh, yeah, man, what, what I really wanted to uh, say to you guys is I'm getting the NBA 2K16 early tip-off uh, game, which comes out on the 25th. Instead of waiting to the 29th to get the Michael Jordan edition like I was going to, I decided I wanted to get the game early, so I'm going to get the early tip-off one. Um, you know, to bring you guys content, you know, four days before the original release or the, yeah, the standard release or whatever it was. Um, and you also get three Emerald Packs in my team, so, which is cool, and they're guaranteed an Emerald player, which is, you know, it's not bad, man, especially when you're starting out anyways. Um, I'm also going to have a pack opening that very first day that the game comes out as well, man, and then I'll show you guys my lineup, so expect maybe three videos that day, man, that's really what I'm waiting for to really, you know, start uploading videos as the new 2K game to actually come out, because, you know, this 2K game, to be honest, man, has run its course with me, I don't know if you guys can tell, man, but I haven't really been playing this much at all, um, so, yeah, once the new 2K comes out, man, it's like eight days away or something like that. Expect videos, a ton of videos at that, you know, to say the least. But yeah, guys, man, I appreciate y'all, you know, sticking around, man, and hanging in there with me. Even though I don't upload consistently and, you know, every day and stuff like that. Um, I'm, trust me, I am going to be back on my grind with uploading videos as soon as the new game comes out. Um, another thing that I'm really, really excited for, though, is... That there's gonna be no more zigzag cheese, man, and I'm excited. I actually play on ball defense. It looks like from the videos that I seen. So I mean, only time will tell if that's really the case. But as you all know, I mean, as you can even tell in this video, I don't play on ball defense. For the main fact is like there's a little. I don't know. For some reason, there's a little delay when I play online with uh, me like kind of like controlling the player there's like a little delay like it's a slight delay but it's not bad but it's enough to where if you're off you know that person will blow by you so that's the reason why i personally don't do that along with the zigzag cheesers so that's the reason why i i don't play on ball defense online offline when i play with my friends my boys came over actually yesterday and we played i, I played on ball defense all five games that we played i won all five games but I played on-ball defense. Uh, it's not that I can't. It's just that online, man, there's just too many, like, negatives for me to, to, to do it. Um, but also, man, the pick and roll, they say the pick and roll is a lot different now. Um, it's not as cheesy as it was this year in this game, which is good because you don't want nothing that's going to be, you know, too cheesy and, you know, crazy in this year's game. Um, it's definitely going to be uh, an adjustment period uh, with playing the game. Um, they say it has like a different feel to the game. It's not like every year's 2K, uh, you know, game that normally comes out or whatnot. So, you know, it's only it, it's pretty much just I don't know. They said there's going to be new controls and stuff like that, man. I'm more curious to see how the post moves are than anything else, man. That was one of my big, uh, you know dislikes about 2k is like the post moves there was only like a variety maybe a handful of post moves that you can actually do and and you know not not more than that you know you had like the dream shake the regular hook shot you got the fade away um you know the up and under you know there's <laughs> there's really not much man i mean spin baseline and dunk but it's not really like a, a 
post post move, but I mean, you guys get what I'm saying, you know, when it comes to that. But I'm really excited, man. They they fixed the uh, they got the whole um the footwork into the ground and whatnot. The I don't know, man. I guess like it, the ground feels and your toes touch or the players' feet touch or something like that. Which is cool, man. It gives the players a, a more realistic, you know, or it gives the game a more realistic, like, feel and, like, body movements and, and stuff like that. And, and hearing that Derrick Rose, knowing he's fast, he's, he'll blow by a, a poor defender, say, like, Bino Udrich, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, which is good, man, because you want the game to be realistic. I mean, you don't want it to be to the point where you're getting abused, though, either, but... <clears throat> LeBron does bully people, and they say he can't overpower people in the game, you know, or, you know, he can bully him, and if, say, you're posting up and you have a 7-foot center, you know, posting up a little, you know, 6-foot 2-point guard, I mean, it's not going to be that difficult to really score, you know what I mean? So, all I hear is really, really good improvements um, with 2K. Uh, I played the NBA Live 16 demo, and it's actually not bad. It's really not. Um... Does it need to improve still? Yes. Some of the animations are bad. <clears throat> the rebounding has got better over the years, which is a good thing. But like I said, um, I don't know, man. I mean, the presentation is pretty good. Uh, the shootings, you know, not hard. Um, the only, my only funk with it is the defense. I don't know. I don't really care for the defense in that game. Um, as far as playing defense, it's, I don't know, to me it's, it's bad, but I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't play NBA Live like that either, so I don't know, maybe I just need to improve my game on there and then, you know, see where, where it is after that, but I mean, it's come away, it come a long ways, um, I remember when they were gonna release, uh, NBA, I think it was like Elite or something like that, 10 or some shit, I don't know, they were gonna change the name from NBA Live, um, <clears throat> and, uh, the, the game actually didn't end up getting released. Um, I think there was only like one or two copies of NBA Elite. I don't even know if you guys remember that. That actually like that are that are really physically out there. And I I actually looked it up, man. And like it was going for like crazy money, man. Like three G's or something like that, which was just nuts for a fucking game that didn't even get published. Was that that's just crazy? It didn't get brought to the market. <clears throat> so. <coughs> Excuse me. So that year, man, they had to literally just eat that game, and they didn't even release it, which was just, you know, it was mind-boggling. They put out a little demo for it. You were able to play the demo, which I played. Um, it was, it was, eh, you know, it was mediocre at best. It wasn't that great. Um, Mike Wang went there, I think it was that year. He ended up leaving, I think it was the next year. He was only there a year or something like that, and he went back to 2K because they didn't see his vision. On gameplay, like, you know, he thought he was going to have some sort of say in there. So, they uh, they kind of went about their business. But, yeah, man, I'm happy Mike Wang is back with 2K. Uh, really, really good, uh, you know, gameplay dude. So, <clears throat> shout out to him, man. But, yeah, man, I'm just looking for the progress, man, the progress. I can't wait to actually get my hands on the game and play it. <coughs> Excuse me, dang. But yeah, man, we're literally right around the corner from the game actually releasing. So, yeah, guys. Um, thanks for sticking around, like I said before, man. I appreciate it. Will be more videos coming out very, very soon. Um, That's pretty much it, guys. Do me a favor, man. If you like the video, please like the video. Share it. If not, do what you do. Super crazy, man. I'm out. Peace. And if you guys want to see some, I mean... NFL Madden 16 gameplay as well. <clears throat> Let me know, man. Let me know, and I'll, I'll upload some packs and or maybe some gameplay, some draft champions, some something. But let me know, guys. I'm out, man. Peace.